this area of Gatineau, the Mont Bleu sector, is very densely populated, and it was also very heavily hit by Friday's tornado. City of Ottawa officials said uh, so far 300 people have taken up this offer of emergency accommodation overnight. But for many of the residents who returned here today to check in on the apartments and houses they used to live in, more questions than answers. Of all the places for a tornado to touch down, Rue Georges Bilodeau might be the worst. The street is filled with budget apartments. That means these were homes for students, young families and new Canadians. On Friday, most of these buildings lost their roofs and more. Today, the city sent engineers to determine what could be saved. Deepu Sankran and his family have only been in Gatineau for a month. No, we have no house, so nothing is more. This elevator mechanic was already looking for work. Now he's packed his family's belongings up, even though he doesn't know where he'll take them. What we will do, we don't know. This University of Ottawa student is also in limbo, but it could have been worse. That's the, the living room, and just beside you can see, like, that's my own nothing. She wasn't home when the storm hit. Edine Grandpierre only paid $800 a month for her two-bedroom apartment. Now she's not only lost everything, she will struggle to find something as cheap. Gatineau Community Housing Association lost a dozen low-income units in the tornado. There was already a waiting list of 900 people for subsidized apartments here and a lot of need. It really is not just because of these events, but also as a long-term concern, we're always looking for more. Selena Popovich came back today looking for answers. We would like to know what's going to happen with us. The back wall of her residence was blown out. The building will likely have to come down, but even that is uncertain. We don't know if our building is going to be demolished. When is it going to be demolished? When are we going to be able to come back? If we're at all going to be able to come back. Popovich had less than an hour to find a friend and a car to pick up the pieces of her life. She says she's just looking for something certain in this storm. Why do we have to wait? Why is no one giving us any answers on our questions? The other lives that are up in the air in this Mont Bleu neighborhood are those of 1,500 high school students who attend Mont Bleu High School. Officials spent the day trying to work out where they can send all those high school students. For now, they all have the week off.